I'm Jessica Vassalero with the Wall Street Journal in San Francisco. On Tuesday, Apple sent out an invite to an event next week that is widely expected to feature its new iPhone. Apple releases a new phone around the same time every year. And this year, people are really looking forward to what everyone expects to be a phone with a bigger screen. Uh, among the other features that we're expecting on this new device is a new version of the software that runs inside. And this is going to carry uh, new software, new mapping software that Apple built, as well as updates to Siri and sort of hundreds of other changes. It's really important that this device be a big hit for Apple. Because basically, the iPhone is still the vast majority of the company's sales, the biggest chunk of revenue. And it really does well when a new product comes out, and then it sort of falters. So in recent quarters, we've seen Android phones and competitors like Samsung really give the iPhone a run for their money. So investors and analysts and everyone else are really banking on this being a huge launch. It'll be really interesting to see sort of who comes on stage next week and what the show's like. Uh, Tim Cook, Apple's uh, now CEO for about a year, uh, introduced the new iPad um, last year, or sorry, earlier this year. And um, there's always a ton of buzz around these events, a huge spectacle and a big show that Apple puts on to try and drum up sales and enthusiasm. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Jessica Vassalero in San Francisco.